Well, I hit the drawbridge, that's right. What I hate about the traffic here is when you're trying to use a device, which you shouldn't while driving, you're, there's so much stop and go, so much wasted time, but just not quite enough. Like, I'm just a little too far away to run back and catch some spots where it's hard to park. So I'm going to get out here and take a look around on the bridge. Um, and as you can see, there's a park there that's per pretty high right there, but over there it's... Uh, Pretty close to level. All around there, you'll see uh, we're already zoomed in here. There's some docks that are all pretty close. Right there, looks like some port marina kind of business there. Looks like some module docks there. Uh, I wouldn't say they're floating, but maybe they are. So maybe they're at whatever level they need to be at. But uh, I'm surprised by the Los Olas flooding. So it's picturing Fort Lauderdale, I guess downtown straight that way. I just, I guess I've never passed through that street. You hear about East Las Olas all the time, but I guess I never pass through there. You always come down over there where those buildings are before you get to downtown. But it's surprising the amount of area that's flooding here. And I'm way past the high tide. I was not even planning on visiting this area. I saw a couple of clips on the news, but wow, just the, the, the area, the mileage, the square mileage that gets flooded here is, uh, is way more surprising than I, than I would have thought. Apparently one of those condos down that way was going to build a underground parking. Uh, but yeah, you can see that uh, talking about a city at sea level, this is this is this is almost more dire than Miami Beach because they have so much more area to cover with less population density to try to make these fixes. So we'll see what happens here in the next few years. But this is a lot worse than I thought here in here in Fort Lauderdale, the the flooding. So. There goes Mr. Sailboat. Nice.